Welcome back guys, it's Cryptorocco here and in today's video we'll be talking about if Litecoin could be the preferred coin of the bankers. So these rumours have been sparked after Litecoin and Token paid strategic partnership to acquire 10% stake in a German bank. So TokenPay has now transacted 9.9% equity share of the bank to Litecoin Foundation in exchange for an agreement that will see the foundation providing its blockchain, marketing and logistics expertise for the benefit of TokenPay's cryptocurrency and business operations. And this is a very, very big strategic partnership for not just Litecoin and TokenPay, but for the whole cryptocurrency market. This is going to give massive exposure to Litecoin. Litecoin could potentially have a debit card, the Litecoin debit card that Litepay tried to do and TokenPay has got a great infrastructure and this is very interesting news. It's still at an early stage but it has got a massive potential. Um, I've made a longer video uh, on this, the win-win situation of Litecoin and TokenPay and what they can achieve. So watch that video to find out more. But in this video we're going to talk about if Litecoin can be, can be the preferred cryptocurrency for banks and to we forget about Ripple and X XLM. There's a lot of tweets and Reddit comments I've seen about uh, Ripple and Litecoin, uh, Ripple, Litecoin, and Stellar Lumens, especially Ripple and Litecoin. So I thought I'd cover this news. So guys, everybody in cryptocurrency is wondering which banks in the world are going to adopt cryptocurrency for internal purposes. Uh, Stellar Lumens and Ripple being the leading candidates or which cryptocurrency will be chosen by banks as a viable option for clients and investors. This shows guys Bitcoin and Ripple is not in direct competition and they could coexist. Ripple could be used for internal purposes and Litecoin could be used as a uh, you know by clients and inv investors to actually and, and also by people to buy and sell stuff to buy things online as an online payment service. Everybody's thinking about Bitcoin and Ethereum and top 5 to 10 big players in general this trend only thinking brings to the surface how unimaginative speculators are because nobody is thinking outside the box charlie lee is thinking definitely outside the box mr lee tweeted about this partnership to buy a significant stake in german weg bank the idea behind this move is for litecoin to get closer to terminal users consumers give them an easy to use cheap way to get involved in litecoin this is going to get massive exposure to litecoin and what is key in the future is adoption if people are using litecoin even if they've not got the best technology they've got issues if people are using it people will stick to litecoin so guys litecoin can be great and, and it, it will have an effect on ripple and stellar but they're not in direct competition so do not just forget about ripple and stellar if I just give you a quick update on Stellar, so Stellar was created by a former, let me find the exact oh, bit that I want to read out, so Ripple co-founder Jet MacLeb, so they've got connections with Ripple, a Stellar Lumens is very quick transaction, the transaction costs are extremely low and they've got some big partnership with IBM and Strip and also I think with an Indian bank, Indian's India's biggest bank, so I've done a detailed review on XLM, so if you want to uh, watch that video what go 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 and find that video um, go and find that video on my channel also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and ripple guys i've made loads of videos on ripple so i'm not gonna uh, to talk about ripple again and what ripple is but ripple is a build a massive in infrastructure with the partnerships with banks santander moneygram and um, sbi the recent partnership that i've talked about in there so ripple isn't going nowhere guys and uh, it's stupid to think litecoin can kick ripple out and uh, only litecoin will exist in the future guys it's difficult to say there could be different um coins coexisting there could be just one i could be wrong there could be just one winner um the Brad Garlinghouse, the CEO of Ripple, is talking about Bitcoin's dominance is coming to an end. I'm not too sure about that. I like Ripple, but Bitcoin is is still the main coin. I know they're a bit slow and they've got issues, but Bitcoin is first to the market. It's not been hacked in however long is ever since its existence. And also, guys, with all the investors and investment bank coming in and uh, big people with big, big, deep pockets and big money coming in, I don't think. Um, Bitcoin will be going anywhere and Bitcoin is still king so just a quick update on what's going on with Stellar and Ripple so I do not think for one second that um, Stellar Lumens and, and Ripple we should forget about them so so it is again it's an exciting move it's creative outside the box very ambitious very intelligent and um, it's one of the best technologies the higher short-term price increases or any other um, so I've stated time and time again that the most successful digital asset won't necessarily be the one with the best technology, higher short-term price increases or any other. 
parameters. What will the um, what will be key is adopted in mass by solving real life problems for real life people. So Stella, Ripple, and Tron are kind of trying to do that, especially Ripple with what they've been trying to do and and the strategic partnerships. They they haven't delivered as much as we'd like, but this take time. And Ripple, if you believe in Ripple, I'm not I'm not massively bullish on Ripple. I like Ripple, but I'm more bullish on Bitcoin. I'd say, but still, Rip what the Ripple trying to do it is only good for cryptocurrency guys. These projects with purpose, Stellar Ripple and uh, Ripple and Stellar are aiming to take over international transfer market, uh, while Tron wants to make the whole web decentralized by blockchain technology. And Litecoin seeks to become an everyday currency that you can use even without a computer or without a digital wallet. Imagine if you could apply for a Litecoin credit card, debit card, and buy cigarettes or visit Starbucks and pay with Litecoin. So they're all in different markets. So forgetting about Ripple uh, and Litecoin taking over Ripple is not really a, a very good comparison in my eyes. This kind of development would give Litecoin access to users with no digital expertise that doesn't understand blockchain technology or idea behind cryptocurrencies. It would connect digital assets with average people in a way in which almost every current coin is very far from achieving or even imagining. So because it will kind of have an effect because if if you go by Brad Garlinghouse, that Ripple is going to be the currency, and if Litecoin achieves this much adoption, I'm not saying it will, they're trying to, a lot of different currencies are trying to, but Litecoin is doing a very good job. It would create a type of demand that doesn't come from speculative forces, but sheer everyday use by average people, and users won't need to understand any technical concept. So my, so with the title of this video, do I agree that we should forget about Ripple? No, we shouldn't forget about Ripple because it could coexist. Ripple could be used for adopted cryptocurrency for internal purposes and um, Litecoin could be used as a payment coin. So that could happen as well. In the future, what happens is difficult to say. It's just good to see that these big coins are actually working in the background to improve something. So it's really exciting news to be in the cryptocurrency, market, cryptocurrency space. And it's exciting news if you're a fan of Ripple, Litecoin, especially if you're a fan of Litecoin like I am. I've, I've been disappointed with the Litepay uh, drama, what happened with Litepay. But this seems to be taking Litecoin into a positive direction. And I know it's difficult, it's very difficult to achieve it. But if they can deliver this, guys, this could be massive, massive news for Litecoin and the whole cryptocurrency space. So thank you very much for watching this video, guys. I've got a lot of videos coming out, so please do subscribe to my channel. Um, and if you're more interested in videos like this or price prediction, tech analysis, breaking news, just subscribe to my channel, guys. And it will really mean a lot to me. It doesn't cost you anything, but it means a lot to me. So thank you very much for watching guys, I hope you've enjoyed it and if, if you have enjoyed it, please smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, turn the notification button and leave your Litecoin addresses below if you want to win half a Litecoin as I do Litecoin giveaways. So thank you very much for watching guys and my final question to you is what is your price prediction for Ripple and Litecoin? Do you agree with what I've said? Do you agree that we shouldn't just try and compete with everything and Ripple and Litecoin could coexist or do you think Litecoin will take over Ripple or, or the other way around so I'd love to hear your thoughts guys so thank you very much smash that like button subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys soon with another great video thank you very much